The exhibition's title is Detention at the Border of Language. My name is Enrique Chagoya, and I am a professor here in the Department of Art and Art History, and I am an artist. I don't like talking about the specific narratives in specific works uh, because they are a little bit open to the viewer. Most of the time I make a satirical statement, but in the style of a nightmare or in, in the style of a surrealistic dream. I have a self-portrait in different ethnic stereotypes. And I did that because I don't like the stereotypes and I wanted to show that behind the stereotype there is a human being. Growing up in Mexico, being Catholic, exposed to religious art, which in the Mexican churches is amazing. It's part of the Spanish Baroque that had a different version within Mexico. Just like the Spanish Baroque changed in Peru or Brazil, Ecuador, in many other places. The difference is the indigenous touch. The other influence was my dad, who used to work in the Central Bank. His job was to catch forgers. My dad had incredible examples of forgeries in his office. His office was a museum of crime where there were not only Mexican uh, pesos, uh, you know, next to the etching plate to the peso. There were U.S. dollars, money from different countries. There was money from Europe, there were francs, money from Morocco, from Cuba, from you name it. All of that influenced me, and I was still a kid. Eventually, I had a couple of residences in Europe, in France, spent some time in Giverny. A few years later, I lived in Paris for almost a year. This European influence made me realize that I was from nowhere and from everywhere. It would be too arrogant to think that art could change the world, but it's a little help to create a dialogue, to maybe create thought-provoking situations with the art itself, and thinking is part of the process of changing. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.